about to take off. We're headed to Minneapolis and then California. Disneyland and I just wish I was going there. Mary is today. Hi. We're going to be on our road to Phoenix today. We're dropping Mary off at Tiffany's and Alice and I are going to be on the road going through the state of California going into Arizona to go see my dad. So it's going to be quite the day. Six hours driving but that's okay because it's for a good cause. So stay tuned. Good morning. I'm hungry, <laughs> but instead we're driving. And because um, I didn't want McDonald's, and we're gonna stop for breakfast somewhere. But just wanted to get look at how pretty the, the, the little clouds view are. of the mountains. The clouds are beautiful too. Look at how beautiful. I wonder they if are. people who live here don't appreciate the mountains because you see the them cannons. every day. Yeah. Uh, look at the clouds, honey. Show the clouds. The clouds are pretty. With the sun. Uh huh. And the, the Oh, we're surrounded, surrounded, surrounded. Good morning. Hi. There are roaming horses. That's so we're just neat. sitting. We just got off the highway. We're gonna go get something to eat, and all of a sudden Michelle's like, "Look, look! Isn't that That's cool? So neat. There's They're roaming like horses totally at the free. side of the mountain. Oh, They're beautiful. They're so pretty." They're just so free. They're coming down the mountain. We'll be coming, coming down, down the mountain when we come. come. Yeehaw! <laughs> we're on vacation. On vacation. No, we're not going to Jack in the Box. Have you been to one? Yeah, I don't like them. That's like Taco Bell. No, it's Taco not. Hell. It's one step. Okay, so um, Michelle's dad's um, been very sick with cancer, and there's not much more that. There's nothing more can be done he's so on he's hospice. on hospice and we're going to see Turn him left onto Green River uh, Road, then so continue a Michelle can say goodbye and so that part of our trip is a sad part but we're glad we're able to do it I have driven nearly I'm sort of scared I don't know two and a half hours is. it's in here I can never vlog without her talking hi honey hi she is now driving. She took a nice two-hour nap. I didn't sleep that snoring. long. Snoring. Was I? She doesn't realize how much she sleeps because I can hear it. <laughs> we are in the desert. It's a hundred degrees outside, oh. but it's dry heat, and um, it's green here, but yeah. it is desert. It Look felt, at how it felt, brown. And I, I had fallen asleep for about an hour, I think. But anyway, we stopped at this store, and I woke up and I said, it looks like we're in the desert. And she says, we are. So anyway, um, when I got out of the car, I was like, whoa, what's the temperature? It was so hot and heavy, but not humid. Nope. So there's a big difference. It was still hot and very heavy feeling, but not like... Not, not like the Midwest. Not like the Midwest where I didn't have any sweat. No, because it's dry. We're, yeah. in, the, we're in the desert. We're very much in the desert. So anyway, it was 100 degrees on the dot when we got out of the car, which we had left where it was 80. And we got out of here and it was 100. And so we are just about hitting the entrance to Arizona from California. So we have gone through a lot of California. It was really cool. We passed Joshua Tree National Park, Palm Springs. I got something on my shirt. 
like I said, I can never vlog without her talking about something. She stained her shirt, and it's our... It's my shirt. It's, it's her our shirt. wedding shirt. Honey, just, just watch the road, because like we're surrounded by trucks. Watch the road. Don't worry about your shirt. It will be washed. We made it to Arizona. I should take a picture. And to tell the it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but we're almost at my dad's house. And... Uh, excited to almost be done. Alice is getting really, really tired. And this is the desert that he lives in. <laughs> okay, we're ready to get out of this car. The hospice nurse left us a book sharing the journey all about what to expect at the end you know I kind of know it but I'll read it anyway I'm in Phoenix and the temperature oh it's down to 107. 107 it was 109 yeah when we left good. hi Michelle hi did you have a good visit with your dad as good as it could be it was kind of sad I don't know that it's actually going to be my last visit. I don't think I could say goodbye. I just told him I loved him. I kissed him. But he might still have a while. His vitals were still kind of high. But there was quite a decline. Quite a decline. In him. We're giving Alice some energy. She's taking the reins. And we're just about to enter... California. IA. Colorado River. So, yep, this is the Colorado River, and when you get over Colorado River, you see this sign that says California State Line, and then when you get over the California State Line, you get the big sign that says Welcome to California. What do we got to do here? It's an agricultural station. They want to make sure we're not bringing in any fruit. I'd always heard about Palm Springs, always wanted to go to Palm Springs, and I can't say I'm really in Palm Springs, I'm on Route 10. And um, Alice kind of slept through this, so I had her driving it this time, so she can't sleep through it. And I told her, there's a lot of like wind, you know, those wind energy mill. windmill thingies, and she's like, oh my God, right? She's like, oh my God. Well, when you drive Route 10, this is what it looks like. Now, I know you've all seen these in other places, but I'm not talking just a couple of these things. I'm talking miles and miles and miles. They're up in the, the mountains. They go on both sides of the road and they just keep going. There's big ones, small ones, different color ones. See, they're up in the hills and we're talking like Forever and Those ever. Those look like they're the same ever. color to me. No, no. There's little ones that are like a darker color, and then there's lighter color, and they just keep going and going and going. And so these are on a different kind of stand. Ooh, and they're not moving. And then there's little ones out there. Palm Springs is looking like all it has is a whole bunch of renewable energy which is a good thing palm springs i mean i'm all for renewable energy but it's not very pretty to have like miles and miles of these windmills every direction we look windmills 